Hi guys. So I'm making this video to tell you guys a crazy story. This crazy story I have held off telling because it is very sensitive. But um, I promised you guys I would tell you guys this story. Um, a more detailed version of this story is going to be in my book. So yeah. Um, so basically this is the story of how I dated a psychopath and was best friends with a psychopath. So um, let me tell you guys what happened. So let me turn the TV down because it's up pretty loud um, this is my Wii that's what I'm turning down on anyway so um <clears throat> when I was in high school okay I I want to say I was like we didn't date for that long we were friends for a long time but we were not dating for that long. So I met this guy. Um, I can't for the life of me remember how old he was, but I know he was around 18. So I'm going to say he's 18. He could have been 17, but I'm going to say 18 for this. Um, <clears throat> I lived in my other house. And next door to me, I used to live next door to my cousin's. And I'm gonna call my cousins different names for this video. Um, but my cousin, uh, let me give him a name. Mm. No, I actually have a cousin named Nat. I don't want him to think it's him. So, <laughs> um, Rodney I don't have any family that I know of named Rodney so my cousin Rodney um, used to live next door to me with his brother uh, give his brother a name Tavares okay these are not my real cousin's names, okay? I'm just giving them names for the sake of the story, okay? So, my cousin Rodney is the younger brother of my cousin Tavares, okay? So, my cousin Rodney was sitting in the car one night with his girlfriend outside of his house in my house. We live next door to each other, so it was right there. And um, I was in bed doing my homework and all of a sudden it's really late at night I started hearing a bunch of pops pop 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 like a lot and I got scared because you know I live in the hood so popping means gunshots so um I got scared and we heard the screaming and realized that it came from next door because it was real close and my cousins are next door so me and my my oldest sister Michelle that's her real name we ran outside and we find my cousin in the car with his girlfriend and his girlfriend had been shot up um she apparently took most of the bullets for my cousin because they shot on his they shot on her side at my cousin so she took the majority of the bullets and it was a bunch of chaos she was throwing up it was blood everywhere it it was a bunch of chaos my sister was freaking out i was freaking out everything was in slow motion and um the police got there and the police came because we were family. They came to my house and they asked us questions. I'm like, I didn't see anything. I was in here doing my homework and I heard the popping. And um, we realized it was our cousin, so we went outside. <clears throat> 
and it was like they was in there with us for a while even though we told them we didn't know shit we don't know nothing so you know we can't tell y'all nothing we were in the house when we heard the gunshots so following that time I was friends with this guy I'm gonna call I need a name for him let me look in my phone book I was friends with him we were not dating just yet um, but I was friends with this guy name I'm gonna find somebody in my book Bobby okay Bobby there we go I was friends with this guy named Bobby okay and uh, Bobby was a fucking psychopath and I didn't know but let me tell you how I found out he was a psychopath so when I had talked to Bobby and I told Bobby what happened with my cousin getting shot and his girlfriend getting shot he was like, yeah, I heard about that. And I was like, how? Like, cause he lived way, like he lived three cities away from me. So I didn't understand how he heard about it like that, you know, but he was like, yeah, I heard about it. You know, um, I know who, who shot your cousin. And I was like, who? So he told me this dude's name and he was like, oh, um, I'm going to kill that dude. And I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, I'm going to kill the dude. And I was like, why? He was like, because he telling me that he's going to kill you and your mom and your sister. And I was like, what the fuck? Nah. I know y'all are probably confused. You you sound just how I was confused. So basically, he's telling me that the guy who shot my cousin sat there and tried to see who had information. Being that the cops knew that we were related to the the one of the victims who were shot, he stayed in our house longer. So they I guess he's trying to tell me that the gunman thinks that we snitched on him but I told him I don't know anything like we were in the house so he's Bobby's telling me well that dude don't know that and he's saying that he's gonna uh, attach a bomb to your mom's car and he described my mom's car and I had never even met this guy yet I never met Bobby yet so for him to tell me what my mom's car looks like and I didn't tell him where I lived or anything like that. I was fucking scared, right? So, I'm scared out of my fucking mind. Didn't want to tell my mom because I didn't want to alarm her or anything. So he was like, but don't worry. You know, I'm going to take care of it. I got you. I'm going to take care of it. And I'm like, well, how are you going to take care of it? He was like, I'm going to take care of it. Don't worry about it. So... He was like, don't cry, you know, because I started to cry. Like, you telling me somebody trying to kill me and my family? I cried, okay? So, he was like, don't cry. I'm going to handle it. I'm going to handle it. I got you, babe. I got you. So, I'm like, okay. So, that next day, Bobby calls me and tells me, I killed the dude who shot your cousin. I was like, what and he said I killed the dude who shot your cousin I said what the fuck you mean you killed the dude who shot my cousin he said I killed him and you gonna hear about it pretty soon and I'm like what like it, it, it I hung <clears throat> Excuse me. I still have a cold, y'all. <clears throat> I hung up on him. Because I was just like, what the fuck? What? So then, when I hung up, 
my other sister called me tell me they caught the dude who shot my cousin and he's dead and I said oh my god Bobby just called and told me that he killed the dude and now my sister telling me that they they found the dude who killed my cousin who shot my cousin's not dead okay who who shot my cousin and he's dead so <clears throat> I called Bobby back and I said Bobby my sister just called me and said that they found the dude dead he was like I told you I was gonna kill the dude and I was like but you say that so nonchalant like it's something that you normally do he was like it is something that I normally do he was like I get paid for this shit and I'm like I said what and he said yeah then he start telling me this elaborate ass story that I just could not fucking believe it sounds so crazy but I kid y'all not on my life on the life of my child this is so true okay just so you know that I'm not bullshitting with this story he tells me that Lil Wayne paid him to kill Juvenile okay Lil Wayne and Baby paid him to kill Juvenile and he's supposed to carry it out pretty soon and it he tells me the most elaborate fucking story y'all he was like oh I can't really get to um Juvie like that and, and oh they paying me really good and I'm just like <clears throat> And I would sit there listening to the stories like, what? So I said, so you a hit man? And he was like, yeah. Now see, a part of me did not believe this shit because I'm just like, how is this, e you too young for that, firstly. How is this even possible that you could be psychotic at such a young age, but it's possible? It's possible. But the fact that he told me that the dude who shot my cousin was dead before before I even found out about it, it, it stuck with me. I was like, could he be telling me the truth? Like, is this real? Is what he really telling me happening right now? So then over the course of the few days he you know telling me he really likes me and he really cares about me more than a friend and he wants to go out with me and I was scared of him I'm gonna tell y'all this right now I was fucking scared of this dude because he's telling me he's killing people and he getting paid to kill people I was fucking scared of this dude okay I was scared of him so, <clears throat> being that I was scared of him, I said, okay. But it wasn't for that long that we dated because he ended up getting arrested. Forget this. Murder. He got arrested for murder, but he got off. Because apparently, the ring that he ran in set up evidence for him to... um to frame somebody else to make it look like he did not commit the crime so he can get off so I was like is this real is this real life what you telling me right now he was like yeah then he's like oh and one of the dudes that the the dude who shot your cousin run with they trying to get at you and your people because they think that you snitched for him on they think that you snitched on him which is why he ended up being shot so I'm like so they after us like is that what you telling me he was like not as long as you my girl ain't nobody gonna touch you I watch you I do this I do that and I'm just like it would that threw me off so fucking much back then because I was literally looking over my shoulder every five seconds 
And on top of that, I was dealing with Arvin too. You know, Arvin was harassing me heavily back then. So I was dealing with a lot of a lot of shit at this time. So Oh god. <laughs> <clears throat> telling this story now so then he come telling me oh um do you need any money I was like no I don't I don't need any money right now and he was like oh well I just killed this dude um that somebody paid me to and he paid me really good and I was just gonna come by and drop off some money to you and I was like why are you telling me this and he's like well you my girl and you my friend so you know i feel like i should be able to tell you anything i was like but this is i said you sound fucking crazy he was like well i am fucking crazy harriet i am crazy i'm like i i said i can't, I can't do this and he was like what you mean he was like, I done told you everything. You know everything. I'm like, I can't do this shit with you. Like, this is, this is crazy. He was like, but I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. I'm protecting your family. He, and, and he kept saying this over and over and over. And it got me so fucking scared. And the girl who, um... <clears throat> My cousin's girlfriend who got shot, she survived it, but I think she got shot like 10 times. And I don't know how many times my cousin got shot. I can't remember because my memory kind of faulty on that, but she got shot like 10 times. She survived it, but everybody was saying that she was going to die. <clears throat> and... I was scared the girl was gonna die too because I was there with her she's spitting out blood and it's white and it's it, I mean the blood was the blood was red but she was throwing up white stuff and it was so scary it was really scary to be there when somebody gets shot like that and I don't know how she doing now I don't know how she doing now but I hope she okay now but she did survive the shooting so you know that's a good thing my cousin survived the shooting too and he is he been in jail not for the shooting thing he obviously he didn't shoot himself but for some other reasons my cousin ended up going to jail like a few years after that so bobby would always call me and tell me oh um there's this dude i've been seeing riding by your house in this white car you know this dude and that was arvin and i told him i was like yeah that's arvin and he said what what who is this dude i'm like he been bothering me he been harassing me and all this other stuff he was like well you want me to get this nigga and i was like no no even though now i would highly recommend for him to do that and <coughs> <laughs> I'm sorry <clears throat> now I would highly recommend for him to do that shit uh, God forgive me I'm so sorry but that motherfucker put me through hell so had I known what he have done afterwards yeah but no no but he was like I'm noticed and that's how I knew like I, I a part of me didn't believe what he said but another part was like how he know all this shit you know like how does he know all this but the way he used to tell me this stuff he used to say it like like he brushing his teeth like it's something that he just do all the time like he changing his underwear taking a bath you know like oh I killed somebody today and 
I didn't believe it, but then I did because I would hear about it. You know, so after a while, you know, I had asked Bobby why he won't let me see him. And he said, well, I need to protect you. You know, I don't want nobody coming, trying to do anything to you. So I'd rather protect you from afar. And I'm like, Bobby, that, that's creepy. And he's like, I know it's creepy, but it's for the best of you, Harriet. It's for the best. And I'm just like, Bobby, that's creepy as fuck, Bobby. And he's like, I know, Harriet. I'm like, I can't talk to you anymore. You were like, so you just gonna leave me like that? I said, I can't do this. You crazy. You need help. And he would be like, can't nobody help me. Can't nobody, ain't nobody help me. When they came in here and gunned down my mom and dad, nobody helped me for that. And I'm just like, Bobby, you need help. Like, I said, do you want me to try to find somebody to help you? He was like, nah, man, nah. He said, i leave you alone. He said, but I'm going to still look out for you. I'm going to still look out for you because you've been there for me through the, through the um, worst times in my life, he said, and I appreciate you for that. And I'm just like, but Bobby, that's, that's weird, Bobby. And he's just like, I know, I know it is. And I didn't hear from him no more. But every so often, I would hear things about people getting killed. And I would be thinking, like, did he, did Bobby do that shit? And I always, every so often, I go and search for him. I went through the jail systems looking for him to see if he was locked up or something. He not in jail. So... Bobby was fucking crazy, y'all. He was a psychopath. And I think about him a lot lately, you know, because I had posted a picture of my cousin on Facebook. And I, I really miss my cousin. You know, I was closer with this cousin than I was with any other, well... I was closer to him and he's one of my older cousins you know like way older than me but I was closer with him and I posted that I missed my cousin so I thought about that and I thought about Bobby so I've researched Bobby but I don't see him anywhere it's like he just he gone or shit a part of me feel like that's not even his real name what he told me but you know, because he was like, he didn't want to see me because he didn't want to put me in danger. And he would tell me the most elaborate fucking stories, y'all. And I would just be like, Bobby, this is crazy. You know, but he would tell me about killing somebody like it's something that he did all the time. Like how me or you change our shoes and underwear and, and you know, like taking baths he would just tell me he killed somebody so nonchalantly and it anyway um <laughs> yeah I'm gonna try to research him again but I can't find anything on Bobby nowhere. And I don't know. I don't even think that was his real name. Now. Because, I mean, I don't know. But Bobby was fucking crazy. He... He was fucking crazy, man. But anyway... That's it, y'all, and uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.